Welcome boys and girls, this is MC Big Boy. Hey, if you're marketing on the internet or if you just have lots of emails, they get put into one place and you need to organize them. And I hope this will help you guys. I am marketing on the net and I get emails from traffic exchanges, from safe list, spammers of course, and all kinds of other organizations. When they're put into one box, like if we go to my inbox, we will see that I get lots of different emails from different people in here and it's kind of hard to find them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a new mail rule and then I'll show you how to edit a mail rule. I've already got some rules set up. I have multiple email accounts like most of you probably do and I already have one rule set up so that all my emails from a particular account goes into this folder. Uh, it's called uh, fund your biz and I have started a new venture this last month and so what I want to do is I want to create a new folder and put several different emails in that folder when they come in so let's look how to do that this is the email that I want to put into a new folder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, tools we'll go to rules and alert It's going to pop up another window here in a few minutes. And it tells me I've got some errors and some rules, and that's because I've deleted some mail accounts. Too bad. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go create a new rule. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and go to the um, check message widget there arrived. This is ba basically a blank rule, and this is the easiest way to start one a lot of times. And here's what we're going to do we're going to go from a um, special um, through the count I'm gonna go I'm gonna pick an account because I know what account I want this is it right here fund your biz at Yahoo uh, and so what I'm gonna do is now we're gonna go we're gonna select the senders not address what I want is subject on this one word in the subject of the body and we're going to hit next. Oh, it's going to tell me i got to go down here, click on specified word. And what I want to put in here is you, actually do capital one, space S T. And then we're going to add that. And you can add multiple, and I'll show you in a minute where I've got several already in there. And then we're going to click next. And now we're going to tell it we want to move it to a specified folder. And so we come down to see you click the box up here, come down to step two and then we're going to click it. Now I don't have this folder yet so I'm going to click new and I'm going to call this uh, U1 and now make sure that U1 is highlighted hit OK and then now there's another rule you need to do and that is stop processing this rule. When you do this it'll put a single copy into the new folder. If you leave this rule off because I've already got a rule that says move it from my inbox to this other folder you'll end up with two copies so now we're going to click the next and we're just going to go ahead and we don't care about that and we're just going to come just going to call this the u1 rule give it a name and then I'm going to say run this rule right now and so we'll hit finish and now what it's going to do is going to search out and we'll see if we're successful it should move some emails over if we're not successful then we'll try again I got a lot of emails. It's going to take it a few seconds here. It says 35 seconds. Twenty seconds to go. And let's see if it's going to move any emails. And it did not move the email that I wanted. And that's fine, guys. So let's do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna edit this rule now, okay? We'll go up here and we're gonna hit change rule, and we're gonna hit edit rule settings. Okay, it's through a special account, specified word in the subject and body. So let's go down here, and uh, well, first of all, did I make a boo boo? 
No, it was to the Funger okay, Yahoo account. Should have been correct. Let's go down here and change this. What we're going to do is we're going to remove that. And this time I'm going to put... United First Financial. If I could only spell, I'd be a millionaire. N A L N C I A L. Now we're going to add that. And now we're going to just go ahead and hit next. And we'll go to the very end. And then we're going to say run the rule. And this time, let's see what happens. Ah, now this time, I believe it actually worked. And if we scroll down, we got to click off of here. Yeah, I know. I still got rules that are messed up. Too bad. And we come down here, and it did move the files that I wanted it to move into this group. So, and when this group becomes, when new emails arrive that I haven't read, again, it'll be darkened like the rest of these are bold. Now, let's go back up here because I have something else. I joined a new safe list this last week and so I want to add it to my existing rules so we're gonna go back to rules yes I know and I have one that I call safe list okay so what we'll do is we're just gonna delete that rule so it'll quit give me the error and then we're gonna try to find the one for safe list okay I know I have one called safe list I must have passed it. When you have lots of rules. But guys, lots of rules makes it so it's very easy to keep track. Oh, there it is, safe list. And then what I'm going to do is change rule, edit rule. And as we look down here, I have already a quite a bit of um, rules posted. Now, I did mess up because I wanted to... Well, I know what I'll do. Well, we're just going to click on this, and then I'm going to add GOT. Make sure you hit Add. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go to the end of the rule, and I'm going to run the rule. Now, see it'll run every time you automatically, when your emails come in. Now we'll hit OK. Now we'll go down here and find where I've got my safe list folder, which is right here. And let's see, it probably put them in. Yep, there it is right there. So it did work. So now I've got all my stuff in one place. And it's organized and I can find. I have my pay to click separated. I have my freebie separated. I have lots of emails, guys, lots of accounts. Guys, I hope this video helps. Uh, you can always find me at, M, wait a minute, at webwizards.us. Have a great day. Bye-bye.